What's up guys, so today we're in the bathroom playing with the micro hydro again. Okay, so previously we've tried to run a few different things off the little micro hydro with mixed successes. Um, it runs a little, uh, I think it's about a 250 watt bridge rectifier. So you run your three AC phases out of the unit into this and you uh, have, have your power that you can take off the unit. So uh, we've got this little daytime running light, uh, it's supposedly about 4 watts, I don't believe it is, let's say it's 2, um, Chinese packaging, you know what it's like, but uh, let's see how, uh, how quick and easy it actually starts up. Alright, so I'm going to turn the water on. Probably a little bit overboard on the voltage side of things there. Even with the very restrictive orifice in this, we're still getting plenty of and the flexible connection and the one up to the shower rows. It's not a crazy amount of water. Getting a ton of beautiful light off that. I reckon we can probably run two of those quite comfortably. And here a load difference. Here's the turbine, turbine load change a little bit. Now the thing I really want to try is uh, this. Over here I've got two 6 volt sealed lead acid batteries. Let's turn that off for a second so we can talk. I think it all looks still on the video but it is actually flickering. Um, just the way the AC is getting generated. We've got it's two 6 volt 9 amp hour lead acids, PWM charge controller, 12.8 volts in it now, I might drop that a bit before we do that so there will be a bit of a pause in the video, might drop that, get our leads hooked up, give me a bit of time to prep terminals because I just cut them off the solar, I left the alligator leads on there which is a great thing, the little clips, and uh, we'll see if we can actually get it to charge these batteries a little. Right, I'll come back. So, when I was trying to charge through the uh, PWM controller, the highest I got was 0.8 of a watt. The highest we've hit so far is 2.1 direct connected. It's only about 100 milliamp hours at 12 volts. Pretty poor considering how fast that's humming along. So that gives you a pretty good idea. And it's no better at uh, 6 volts. Sort of had an idea going there. But uh, when you look at the size of the windings coming out of the turbine, you understand why it's so restricted. Yeah. We'll run a little LED strip light nicely. It's like that could be handy somewhere in, like in a pump shed or something like that when you've got water flowing past or uh, in a valve box or something that you need to actually see inside otherwise these things aren't that much chop thanks for watching guys in the near future I will be buying a different type, a bigger one I'll uh, make a video about it as soon as I've got one which is already uh, DC and already uh, 12 volts and uh, we'll have a play with that one but for now thanks for watching Thanks for subscribing, I'll catch you in the next video.